If we think of a calculator as a very good math tool, then a graphing calculator or a software like Desmos might be a great math tool. And spreadsheet software would be an incredible math tool. In the early days of computers, many companies went out and bought computers simply to have access to spreadsheet software. Spreadsheet software is incredible at handling tons of data, allowing you to do many calculations very quickly and also to produce a variety of graphs. In this tutorial, we'll do a quick intro to spreadsheets. Common spreadsheet software options include Microsoft Excel, most common and part of the Office Suite, Sheets, a free one from Google and part of the Google Docs, Calc, part of the Open Office Suite, which is also free, and Numbers, one that you may have if you own a Mac. For this tutorial, we'll use the free Sheets from Google. Others are very similar, so you'll be able to do all the same things but you may have to look for some equivalent or similar buttons. Here's generally what every spreadsheet looks like. A bunch of little empty boxes, or cells. Let's start with the basics. Each cell has its own address, based on which column and row it's in. This cell is in column A and row 2. So we call this cell A2. This cell is in column C and row 4. So we would call this cell C4. If you ever get mixed up between columns and rows, just remember that columns look like this. Up and down. Vertical. Just like columns in a spreadsheet. Up and down and the rows are horizontal. Let's make a table of how many hours you worked at your part-time job over the last year. So first, let's add the titles. Month for the first column heading, hours for the second column heading, and we can make them look more like titles, bold, and then we can do a colored background. That looks better. Now let's enter our data. Let's start with the months. January, February, March. Let's stop here and show you a little spreadsheet trick. If we select our months so far, and if we go down to the lower right corner of our lowest cell here, and we grab the handle, the little black box here, we can drag it down as far as we want. See how it recognized that we were just doing one month after the next? It recognized the pattern. And this works for a variety of patterns, and it's a great way to save time entering data. Next, let's enter our hours data. We worked 35 hours in January, 32 hours in February, 32 hours in March, 34 hours in April, and then we realize that we worked a standard amount of 35 hours per month for the rest of the year. So let's select our 35 here, right click, and copy. Then we'll select all of our remaining blocks and right click and paste. Again, a nice little trick to save us some time typing. Another way to get our data in quickly. And we have a nice table. To make our table look even nicer, we could select all the cells that we used and put borders around them. This icon up here. If we want to put this table into a report or newsletter that we're working on, we just select all the cells and right click and copy. And then in our word processor, Google Docs or Word, 
we can right click where we want the table and paste. In this tutorial, we had a quick intro to spreadsheets. We looked at how to make a table in a spreadsheet, along with how to use a couple of good spreadsheet tricks to quickly enter data. In the end, we have a nicely formatted table that we can copy and paste into a report or newsletter that we're working on.